Hello, hello, my name is Rhea, and welcome to Graphical Limbo. This was made by MaxJK0, and it's supposed to be about a dreamscape or a nightmare scape. We have options. Ooh, I like a higher FOV. That music down just a bit. Okay. Um, I think we're good. These are gonna, I'm gonna be playing a couple games that are submitted to the 32 bit spring cleaning jam. How would you prefer to fly? Six degree of freedom, you can roll and go upside down. Motion sickness warning. I'm a degree of freedom, no flipping. Uh, Vance. Vance. Oh, I have an inventory? Okay. Wait, oh. Oh, a little bit of clip in there. Can I, can I fly? All right, we're in a TV. This is a... This is trippy. It's a little bit trippy. I don't know what to do. This one has a screen gun. Uh -uh, can't do anything with that. Now this TV looks oddly important. Oh. Oh. Oh, wow. How do I? I'm so lost. Help. Help. I have lost my point of view. I probably should have stuck with simple. Oh, there we are. Let's go get that one. Let's get that star. That looks like it's the next closest. I lost my bearings for a minute. Does that, does that rotate me? Oh, that's pretty nifty. All right, that one. I missed that one. Hold on, hold on. I need to turn back around. Come to me, star. Okay, I'm a little discombobulated. There we go. Got him. Now I gotta find that eye. Oh, no. My, the floor is dancing. Oh, the floor. The floor is dancing. The floor is dancing. Oh no! Let's get to the house. No, I don't want to enter. Our What's that? The picnic over here. Hold on. The sky's moving too. That's a nice touch. Picnic. Anything else? Pops coming after me? The house is up here. What is my shadow? Am I a block? Anything else? Anything else? No, I think... I think that was it. Are there multiple houses? I'm gonna go in... I'm gonna go in the back door. Yeah. Oh, you know what this reminds me of? Um... Mario 64 when you're in the fish tank and you're trying to get all the red coins. Oh no. Hello. Oh, I need to I need to turn the world back the right way. All right, got them all. Oh, that eyeball. I'm in a neighborhood now, and I'm very speedy. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Hello. Oh, classified documents for sale. Just five dollars. You there? You look like you could maybe use some classified documents. Okay. Oh, I haven't been collecting everything, have I? I could really... Oh. I really could use some classified documents. Hello? Uh, I hate it when I find cash hiding in my garden. It always ruins my flowers. You take this money off my hands. Oh, I got five dollars. What is this? Oh, no! 
I had five dollars. I had five dollars. Oh, look, they're both right here. How convenient. Oh, man. Okay. Yeah, I can't seem to get my bearings. I, I, uh, I'm a little, I'm a little loopy right now. There we go. Hello. I'm kind of sad that I had the five dollars, too. Oh, no. And then you start over. Well, that was my take on the game. I'm sure you guys could give it a try and see if you have, you can find all the stuff. Like, the five dollars. Go take the five dollars where it goes. Go do it. Do better than me. I don't see any new kind of thing, but that, that was fun. That was interesting. Um, let's find one more game that was submitted to this game jam. This is Homeowner Simulator. It's a game by Wombok. Dear sir and madam, on behalf of the Scroggle Real Estate, we would like to congratulate you for winning the auction for 259 Crom Bourbon Road, Foot to Sequoia. We hope that you enjoy being a homeowner. Please find, attach the key to the house. Kindly yours, Amandra Clothbone, real estate manager. Cool. Thanks. It's supposed to be all about owning a house. Oh. Hello, traveler. We have been waiting for you. Have you? Have you? Um, why are you in my house? Oh, no, we scared the mortal. Um, be not afraid. We have a perfectly reasonable explanation for this. Do you? Yes. Well, what is it? We are ancient mystical beings, having existed long before you humans. Billions of millennia ago, we foresaw this meeting with you in this very dining room, in this very house that you won in an auction several months ago. We foresaw that too. All of existence has been heading towards this single moment in history. Every childbearing mother, every young couple falling in love, every meal that has been eaten, every song that has been sung, those events, these people, their entire lives, they have all been but predecessors to this singular moment. You could say, in fact, this moment we are experiencing right now is the meaning of life. The meaning of life is to be present in the moment? Beautiful, but wrong. When we say the meaning of life is this moment, it literally is only this moment. Every other moment is kind of irrelevant. I mean, you can be present in those moments if you want, but it won't achieve anything. This is the only special moment. We should enjoy it together. Yes, let's. Read deeply with me. <sighs> okay, enough being in the moment for me. Yeah, I was getting bored. Uh, so why exactly? Well, some things in life are a mystery. You have to get used to that eventually. So you know the meaning of life, but you don't know why. Exactly. How do you know this? We already told you. We foresaw it. We're ancient, powerful beings. We just know these things. You don't think we wouldn't have wanted to miss the meaning of life, no? How long have you been waiting? 583 million years. Good lord. In this very dining room, at this very table. Wasn't this house built 30 years ago? Well, in human terms, yes, but in another way, it's always existed. Hey, so they'll never get it. It's too hard to explain. Point is, we've been here for 50 million... Been here for 500 million years. We'll admit the conversation has gotten boring. We got through the entire Western, Eastern, Subtrombian, and Vambian canons of philosophy in the first few months. When you got here, we were talking TV show trivia. It's not fair. I haven't watched Friends yet. And three, two, one. Okay, done. The moment is over. Wow, what a trip. 583 million years for that? Life is really beautiful. So what now? What do we do now? Not sure. Um, contemplate the meaninglessness of existence. Were you even listening? Life has meaning. We just explained it. We just experienced it. It was beautiful and real and rare. Doesn't that mean... Since this moment has passed, there is now a vacuum of meaning in the universe? No. And there is no reason to keep on living past the most meaningful moment of our lives? You're right. You've made us sad. So when are you guys leaving? I don't know, man. If nothing means anything, then why go anywhere? 
Yeah, here seems like a pretty good place to crash. We've already been here for the last 583 million years. But I live here. Oh, don't worry. We won't be intrusive or anything. You'll barely notice us. We'll just return to our conversation now. Shh. So, what were we talking about? Um, TV trivia? Oh, yes. Well, you guys know the first sitcom to popularize the monumentary format was The Office. I can't stand that, Steve Carell. Okay. I can just walk around now? My house? That was a weird in in introduction. Okay. Uh, can you please go? Sorry. We're existentially troubled and need a place to s chill. Oh, television. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did anyone here watch Community? No, sorry. Neither. It was really good. You should really... Sure. I didn't watch that either. Um, can I get rid of these guys? What's in, what's in here? What you doing? Oh, what you eating there? Oh, don't mind me. This is my newest delicacy. Took a whole bowl of marshmallows and microwaved it so they fused together. Then I covered it in American mustard. I call that marshmallow stew. That's disgusting. Disgusting. This is my art. Your art? Yes, the food I cook is the purest expression of what is inside my soul. Your soul's a bowl of marshmallow fused together and covered in mustard? Well, not exactly. Mm. Bye. I don't really want to talk about it anymore. Sure you don't want some? It's sweet, savory, and... Uh, okay. I think I'm allergic. But it's my art. I think I'm allergic to that, too. Can I use the kitchen? But, but, this is my studio. I don't have another place to practice my art. Can I use myself some instant noodles? It'll throw off my practice. Sorry, no can do. Have you been cooking long? Well, just an odd 583 million years. Not trained, mind you. I've developed this palette through years of experimentation. I just cook by how I feel. You know, it's my art. You're not very good at it. Rude. Well, it's the only thing I've ever done. Have you considered other artistic mediums? I'm afraid I don't know of any others. What about interpretive dance with the way you move? Alas, I'm gangly and uncoordinated. And no one wants to look at my slivet body. Whatever that is. Hairdressing? If only cats do not have opposable thumbs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wood carving? Ha! How twee. Do I live in the woods? Foley artistry? I don't watch movies. Why would I do that? Kickboxing? Game development? There's no money, resources, or community in that. Not a chance. Kickboxing? Not a violent person by nature. I'd be terrible. Singing? Oh, it is true. I've always wanted to sing. La 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 la. How's my voice? It's okay. Ah, uh, not good enough. How about this? I feel like you're straining. Have you considered training? Shoot. I've got to look up some singing teachers. Scanning all possible realities. Okay. I think I found the one. His name is Antonio Brocalina. I should sign up now. This is a huge step. I don't know if I can give up my culinary career. But then... If I never try it, I might live the rest of my life with regret. You know what? You've convinced me. I'm going to pivot my artistical career into music and become the first immortal cat pop star. Thank you for your help. You can cook your crappy human food now. Thanks, man. I just wanted some ramen. I guess that's all I gotta do here. Yeah. He's still there. Where does this go? Are you in the... Okay. I, I hate to bother you. Hello? Oh, I didn't see you there. I was just disassociating in the shower, as you do. Life is hard, you know. You experience the most meaningful events of your life, and then, bang, it's gone. Would rather just not think about it. Why don't you want to think right now? Because it's too painful, and I don't want to experience pain. I think life should be fun, pleasurable, and that pain is something to be avoided at all costs. That sounds like a maladaptive trauma response. You are a maladaptive. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I shouldn't have lashed out. Anyway, the memory of the most meaningful moment of my life has become too painful to revisit, so I'd rather just not think at all. Why don't you try remembering that moment? No. Please? No. Please? No. Please? Okay, I'll try and remember that wretched moment. 
Yeah, we should be enjoyed together, yes. Yeah, yeah, because we did that. And then what? He has three hats on. That wasn't so hard, was it? I get it now. I knew the memory would be associated with pain. That's why I didn't want to revisit it. But experience it again, I was struck by the beauty of it. The joy of spending one blessed moment with my best friends. It was painful, but there was joy and pleasure as well. Pain and pleasure must coexist together because they are a spectrum. I don't need to dissociate anymore. I can think about all the beautiful yet painful moments that I've lived through. Whoa, whoa, so much pain, yet so much joy. You can use the bathroom now. Goodbye. Okay, th thank you. Thank you for that. Is this the kitchen? I think this was, yeah. What should I go out here? What's in here? Oh. I shouldn't do anything without asking her first. It's only nice. Oh. Her, you say? What you playing? Uh, meeting Simulator 2, TM. Can I play too? It's single player. Oh, okay. So what do you do in this game exactly? It's a meaning simulator, duh. So you basically pretend life has meaning. Your words, not... So you basically pretend life has meaning. Your words, not mine. How's Meaning Simulator 2 going? It's very fulfilling. You're not doing this to distract from the massive void and the meaning that you're currently experiencing. I don't know what you're talking about. Are you an avoidant person? Are you suggesting I need therapy? I'm immortal. Hey, don't knock it till you try it. How long are you going to be? I intend to be here for the next 583 million years. I'm pretty sure I don't live that long. It's only fair. I got here first. Can you please just save and quit? Thanks for reminding me to save my game. I've been slowly hacking away at the save file from millennia. Now the quit part? No thanks. Can you please give me a turn? Nah. Don't make me do something I regret. Try me. Okay, bye. Let's see, maybe I can just plug it like this. Save file corrupted. There's no way to revive your progress. Haha, <laughs> sucker. Uh, what have you done? I... I just looked at it funny. You mortal fool, how dare you interrupt my progress? The save file was at least 7,800 years old. I was so close too, and you had to ruin it. You... Good for nothing. I'll never forgive you. We are no longer friends. I'll hold this against you for the rest of your life. Um... Why don't you just start a new game? Huh. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> start a new game, if only it were that simple. Because if I were to start a new game, that means starting over from nothing. Hear that? Nothing. No foundation, no support. Nothing to hold on to. No reason to go on. Is it still about a video game? I don't know what there is for me anymore. If I've failed to simulate meaning in Meaning Simulator 2, then what's the point? Why keep on living? How do we respond to the absurdity? Do we just end it all or create something new, despite knowing that one day... Some idiot is going to turn off the console and corrupt the file again. I'm sorry, I feel bad. Huh. Throughout this conversation, I wished for an apology. Now I receive it, and yet I feel nothing. Can I get you a chocolate or something? Oh, do you have a chocolate? I think I have one in my pocket. Oh, such kindness. Give and expecting nothing in return. I'm sorry. I think I was just in a really bad mood because of the game, but also probably the meaning void thing that happened before in the dining room, but you have shown me that real meaning of life is kindness and that in the midst of absurdity and nihilism, all we can do is look out for our fellow sentient beings because in the end, all we have is each other. I see that now. How can I ever repay you? You can get out of my house. Oh yes, well you have to convince my friends first. I'll be waiting with them. I think I did. I think I did. I think I convinced everybody to get out of my house. Ah, home sweet home. What is happening? I've been taking singing lessons. Like, check it out. Please turn on the sound. My sound is on.
It's probably Hershey's. Or Lint. Wombat Games and Jeremy Jeremy Stick. Stick? That was really good. Um, it kind of has a deep meaning if you think really into it about how you, sh you know, some things can be super exciting, but you don't need that to be like your, you know, only high moment in life. Like there's lots of moments to come, so enjoy it. But you could take it how you want to take it. You could take it as a joke. You could take it as just a great song. Anyway. Thank you guys for watching these two games for the 32-bit Spring Claiming Jam. I will leave them both linked down below, as well as the whole jam page. You can check out any other submissions. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Raya, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!